Here we are again, my dear friends, so from the series Fixing Things for Nothing, <laughs> I mean Fixing Things for Friends or Friends of the Friends, today I have a, a Lenovo a laptop and this is, a, let's take a look, uh, that's a Lenovo G50-80 made some time in uh, 2015. So it's a pretty old stuff. I've been informed this laptop, it's looking like there is a problem with the display. Oh man, look there. It can be very clearly seen. The display had been kicked, touched, dropped, whatever, anyway. It's not good. I think there is a little battery running. We have backlight, that's nice. The windows is starting. Of course, I don't expect too much. It's very clear, look at these guys here. Uh, that's uh, really over kaput display. And it's very slow. Probably I will install a Windows Home or something, you know. Uh, maybe Linux. Why not? Okay, so no doubt about. I don't want to waste any more time. For uh, I've been almost ready to open, but we have the battery like that. So be sure that you take off the battery before doing anything when it's a matter of display. There is always a voltage over there and the risk for damaging the, uh, the main rail. It's huge. Cape. So on. I just want to take a look under this to see what's happening there because I can see a lot of dust. Ooh, lot of dust. Oh, yes, a lot of dust here. Anyway, we'll fix that. So we have a four giga of RAM. Okay. Should be nice to have some more. That's a classic disc. We don't need to go any farther because this is very clear. It needs to be cleaned, eventually replaced. Oh, but I have to take out everything now. Just clean the fan and it will be fine. Can we take the fan out without? Yes. But for now, let's focus to the display. Let me find what kind of display do I need. Yes, the, you see it can be easily done by uh, checking the hardware or the device, the device manager and uh, we can easily find out what kind of display do we need. But uh, I prefer the other way. I want to take out the bezel because it's pretty easy. I need a plug through and I have to take all this plastic all around, I suppose. Oh yeah. Come on out. bezel it's off and okay this is weird I suppose the some of the screws here are loose shouldn't be a problem yeah they are loose let's check again the battery it's out so we got no problem there and as you see I got these screws here which needs Philips uh, smaller 
like number pH zero zero. One, two. Do we have some more? Yeah, another one here. And here. Do we have some more? I see two small screws, but I don't know if no, they are not related. Oh, okay, beautiful. And that's the screen. What's in here? Obviously the screen connector, which is untouched. But you know something, all I need for now is to write these numbers down. So um, I think this is a 30 pins connector. Yeah, it's a 30 pin connector. LD156837. Okay. I think that's for now. You know, I'm gonna have this back in place because anyway, I don't have a replacement. That's it. And uh, probably I will focus to the other stuffs. See about the hinges. As you can see, it's a very easy replacement. If you have the parts, it takes five minutes. Four screws and a little bit of attention, not like I did now. So here we have the display number LT, LT, LTN15680, 37 from Samsung. Okay, let me try to find online something like that. LTN156 T37. Like I said, the 30 pin video connector, uh, I believe it can be replaced with, uh, with a better resolution here. I think that's it for today, nothing else to do. I'm gonna try to find maybe, maybe a second hand something, you know, the cheaper the version variant to this, and I'll be back with the uh, new screen to replace it. Once again, thanks to my sponsor, Raduji and Vlad Kaya from Amphia Records. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, push like, and of course, like always, have fun. Bye-bye.